Mikhail Vasilyevich Lomonosov, Russian, Mihail Mi A Acute Jalo, Vasilyevich Lomonosov IPA, MX IL VS IL JVT LM NOSF, Listen, November 19, OS. November 8, 1711, April 15, OS. April 4, 1765, was a Russian polymath, scientist, and writer, who made important contributions to literature, education, and science. Among his discoveries were the atmosphere of Venus and the law of conservation of mass in chemical reactions. His spheres of science were natural science, chemistry, physics, mineralogy, history, art, philology, optical devices and others. Lomonosov was also a poet and influenced the formation of the modern Russian literary language. <laughs> Early life and family Lomonosov was born in the village of Mishaninskaya later renamed Lomonosovo in his honor in Archangelgorod Governorate, on an island not far from Kolmogory, in the far north of Russia. His father, Vasily Dorofeyevich Lomonosov, was a prosperous peasant fisherman turned ship owner, who amassed a small fortune transporting goods from Arkhangelsk to Pustoziorsk, Solovka, Kola, and Lapland. Lomonosov's mother was Vasily's first wife, a deacon's daughter, Elena Ivanovna Sivkova. He remained at Denisovka until he was ten, when his father decided that he was old enough to participate in his business ventures, and Lomonosov began accompanying Vasily on trading missions. Learning was young Lomonosov's passion, however, not business. The boy's thirst for knowledge was insatiable. Lomonosov had been taught to read as a boy by his neighbor Ivan Shubny, and he spent every spare moment with his books. He continued his studies with the village deacon, S.N. Sabelnikov, but for many years the only books he had access to were religious texts. When he was 14, Lomonosov was given copies of Malicious Smotritsky's Modern Church Slavonic a grammar book and Leonti Magnitsky's Arithmetic. On his religious views, Lomonosov was a Russian Orthodox all his life, but had close encounters with old believers' schism in early youth and later in life he became a deist. In 1724, his father married for the third and final time. Lomonosov and his stepmother Irina had an acrimonious relationship. Unhappy at home and intent on obtaining a higher education, which Lomonosov could not receive in Mishaninskaya, he was determined to leave the village. Education in Moscow and Kiev In 1730, at 19, Lomonosov went to Moscow on foot, because he was determined to «study sciences». Shortly after arrival, he admitted into the Slavic Greek Latin Academy by falsely claiming to be a son of a Kolmogory nobleman. In 1734 that initial falsehood as well as another lie for him to be son of a priest nearly got him expelled from the academy but the investigation ended without severe consequences. Lomonosov lived on three kopecks a day, eating only black bread and kvass, but he made rapid progress scholastically. It is believed that in 1735, after three years in Moscow he was sent to Kiev to study for short period at the Kiev Mohyla Academy. He quickly became dissatisfied with the education he was receiving there, and returned to Moscow to resume his studies there. In five years Lomonosov completed a 12-year study course and in 1736, among 12 best graduates, was awarded a scholarship at the St. Petersburg Academy. He plunged into his studies and was rewarded with a four-year grant to study abroad, in Germany, first at the University of Marburg and then in Freiburg. Education abroad The University of Marburg was among Europe's most important universities in the mid-18th century due to the presence of the philosopher Christian Wolff, a prominent figure of the German Enlightenment. Lomonosov became one of Wolff's students while at Marburg from November 1736 to July 1739. Both philosophically and as a science administrator, this connection would be the most influential of Lomonosov's life. In 1739–1740 he studied mineralogy, metallurgy, and mining at Burgrat Johann Friedrich Henkel's laboratory in Freiburg, Saxony, there he intensified his studies of German literature. Lomonosov quickly mastered the German language, and in addition to philosophy, seriously studied chemistry, discovered the works of 17th-century Irish theologian and natural philosopher, Robert Boyle, and even began writing poetry. He also developed an interest in German literature. 
He is said to have especially admired Gunther. His ode on the taking of Coton from the Turks, composed in 1739, attracted a great deal of attention in St. Petersburg. Contrary to his adoration for Wolf, Lomonosov went into fierce disputes with Henkel over the training and education courses he and his two compatriot students were getting in Freiburg as well as over very limited financial support which Henkel was instructed to provide to the Russians after numerous debts they made in Marburg. As the result, Lomonosov left Freiburg without permission and wandered for quite a while over Germany and Holland unsuccessfully trying to get a permission from Russian envoys to return to the St. Petersburg Academy. During his residence in Marburg, Lomonosov boarded with Katharina Zilch, a brewer's widow. He fell in love with Katharina's daughter Elizabeth Christine Zilch. They were married in June 1740. Lomonosov found it extremely difficult to maintain his growing family on the scanty and irregular allowance granted him by the Russian Academy of Sciences. As his circumstances became desperate, he resolved and got permission to return to St. Petersburg. <laughs> return to Russia Lomonosov returned to Russia in June 1741, after being abroad four years and eight months. A year later he was named an adjunct of the Russian Academy of Science in the Physics Department. In May 1743, Lomonosov was accused, arrested, and held under house arrest for eight months, after he supposedly insulted various people associated with the Academy. He was released and pardoned in January 1744 after apologizing to all involved. Lomonosov was made a full member of the Academy, and named Professor of Chemistry, in 1745. He established the Academy's first chemistry laboratory. Eager to improve Russia's educational system, in 1755, Lomonosov joined his patron Count Ivan Shuvalov in founding Moscow University. In 1760, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 1764, he was elected foreign member of the Academy of Sciences of the Institute of Bologna. In 1764, Lomonosov was appointed to the position of the State Councillor, which was of rank V in the Russian Empire's Table of Ranks. He died on 4 April 1765 in St. Petersburg. He is widely and deservingly regarded as the father of Russian science. Though many of his scientific accomplishments were relatively unknown outside Russia until long after his death and gained proper appreciation only in late 19th and, especially, in 20th centuries. Physicist <inaudible> 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 In 1756, Lomonosov tried to replicate Robert Boyle's experiment of 1673. He concluded that the commonly accepted phlogiston theory was false. Anticipating the discoveries of Antoine Lavoisier, he wrote in his diary, "...today I made an experiment in hermetic glass vessels in order to determine whether the mass of metals increases from the action of pure heat. The experiments of which I append the record in thirteen pages demonstrated that the famous Robert Boyle was deluded, for without access of air from outside the mass of the burnt metal remains the same." That is the law of mass conservation in chemical reaction, which was well known today as, in a chemical reaction, the mass of reactants is equal to the mass of the products. Lomonosov, together with Lavoisier, is regarded as the one who discovered the law of mass conservation. He stated that all matter is composed of corpuscles, molecules that are, collections, of elements, atoms. In his dissertation, Elements of Mathematical Chemistry, 1741, unfinished, the scientist gives the following definition. An element is a part of a body that does not consist of any other smaller and different bodies. Corpuscle is a collection of elements forming one small mass. In a later study, 1748, he uses term atom instead of element and particula particle or molecule instead of corpuscle. He regarded heat as a form of motion, suggested the wave theory of light, contributed to the formulation of the kinetic theory of gases, and stated the idea of conservation of matter in the following words. All changes in nature are such that inasmuch is taken from one object in so much as added to another. So, if the amount of matter decreases in one place, it increases elsewhere. 
This universal law of nature embraces laws of motion as well, for an object moving others by its own force in fact imparts to another object the force it loses." First articulated in a letter to Leonard Euler dated 5 July 1748, rephrased and published in Lomonosov's dissertation, "'Reflection on the Solidity and Fluidity of Bodies' 1760. Astronomer Lomonosov was the first to discover and appreciate atmosphere of Venus during his observation of the transit of Venus of 1761 in a small observatory near his house in Petersburg. In June 2012, a group of astronomers carried out experimental reconstruction of Lomonosov's discovery of Venusian atmosphere with antique refractors during the transit of Venus, 5 to 6 June 2012. They concluded that Lomonosov's telescope was fully adequate to the task of detecting the arc of light around Venus off the Sun's disk during ingress or egress if proper experimental techniques as described by Lomonosov in his 1761 paper are employed. In 1762, Lomonosov presented an improved design of a reflecting telescope to the Russian Academy of Sciences Forum. His telescope had its primary mirror adjusted at an angle of 4 degrees to the telescope's axis. This made the image focus at the side of the telescope tube, where the observer could view the image with an eyepiece without blocking the image. However, this invention was not published until 1827, so this type of telescope has become associated with a similar design by William Herschel, the Herschelian telescope. <laughs> Chemist and geologist In 1759, with his collaborator, academician Joseph Adam Braun, Lomonosov was the first person to record the freezing of mercury and to carry out initial experiments with it. Believing that nature is subject to regular and continuous evolution, he demonstrated the organic origin of soil, peat, coal, petroleum and amber. In 1745, he published a catalogue of over 3,000 minerals, and in 1760, he explained the formation of icebergs. In 1763, he published On the Strata of the Earth, his most significant geological work. Geographer <laughs> 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 Lomonosov's observation of iceberg formation led into his pioneering work in geography. Lomonosov got close to the theory of continental drift, theoretically predicted the existence of Antarctica he argued that icebergs of the South Ocean could be formed only on a dry land covered with ice, and invented sea tools which made writing and calculating directions and distances easier. In 1764, he organized an expedition led by Admiral Vasily Chichakov to find the northeast passage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans by sailing along the northern coast of Siberia. Topic. Mosaicist Lomonosov was proud to restore the ancient art of mosaics. In 1754, in his letter to Leonard Euler, he wrote that his three years of experiments on the effects of chemistry of minerals on their color led to his deep involvement in the mosaic art. In 1763, he set up a glass factory that produced the first stained glass mosaics outside of Italy. There were 40 mosaics attributed to Lomonosov, with only 24 surviving to the present day. Among the best is the portrait of Peter the Great and the Battle of Poltava, measuring 4.8 by 6.4 meters, 16 feet times 21 feet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Grammarian, poet, historian. In 1755 Lomonosov wrote a grammar that reformed the Russian literary language by combining Old Church Slavonic with the vernacular tongue. To further his literary theories, he wrote more than 20 solemn ceremonial odes, notably the evening meditation on the god's grandeur. He applied an idiosyncratic theory to his later poems, tender subjects needed words containing the front vowel sounds e, i, y and u, whereas things that may cause fear like anger, envy, pain, and sorrow needed words with back vowel sounds o, u and y that was a version of what is now called sound symbolism. In 1760 Lomonosov published A History of Russia. In addition, he attempted to write a grand epic about Peter the Great, to be based on the Aeneid by Virgil, but he died before he could finish it.
Topic: <laughs> Legacy. His granddaughter Sofia Konstantinova (1769–1844) married Russian military hero and statesman General Nikolai Raevsky. His great-granddaughter was Princess Maria Raevskaya Volkonskaya, the wife of the Decembrist Prince Sergei Volkonsky. The city of Lomonosov, Russia, former Oranienbaum, Russia, from 1710 to 1948, and a lunar crater bear his name, as does a crater on Mars and the asteroid 1379 Lomonosova. The Imperial Porcelain Factory, St. Petersburg was renamed after him from 1925 to 2005. In 1948, the underwater Lomonosov Ridge in the Arctic Ocean was named in his honor. Moscow State University was renamed M. V. Lomonosov Moscow State University in his honor in 1940. The Lomonosov Gold Medal was established in 1959 and is awarded annually by the Russian Academy of Sciences to a Russian and a foreign scientist, the street. Lomonosova IELA in the Maskovis 4 State District of Riga is named in honor of Lomonosov. During the Soviet era, a main street in Tallinn, Estonia, was named in his honor as Lomonosovi M, but from 1991 it was renamed Gonsiori after Jakob Johann Gonsier, a 19th century alderman and lawyer. The academic Lomonosov, the first of a series of Russian floating nuclear power stations, is named for him. It is expected to be operational at Valiuchinsk, Kamchatka Peninsula, in 2018. Topic: <laughs> Works. English translations: Lomonosov, Mikhail, 1767. A chronological abridgment of the Russian history, translated by J. G. A. F. for T. Snelling. Lomonosov, Mikhail, 1966. Panegyric to the Sovereign Emperor, Peter the Great. Translated by Ronald Hingley in Mark Rafe, ed. Russian Intellectual History, an Anthology. Prometheus Books. ISBN 978-0391009059. Lomonosov, Mikhail 1970. Mikhail Vasilievich Lomonosov on the Corpuscular Theory. Translated by Henry M. Lester. Harvard University Press. ISBN 0674574206. Lomonosov, Mikhail. 2012. The Appearance of Venus on the Sun, observed at the St. Petersburg Imperial Academy of Sciences on May 26, 1761. Translated by Vladimir Shiltsev in Lomonosov's Discovery of Venus Atmosphere in 1761, English translation of original publication with commentaries. Archive, 1206.3489. Lomonosov, Mikhail On the Strata of the Earth. Translation and Commentary by S. M. Roland and S. Coral Yov. The Geological Society of America, Special Paper 485. ISBN 978-0-8137-2485-0. Lomonosov, Mikhail Oratio de Meteoris v. Electrica Ortis, Discourse on Atmospheric Phenomena Originating from Electrical Force 1753. Translation and Commentary by Vladimir Shiltsev. Archive, 1709.08847. Lomonosov, Mikhail Meditations on Solidity and Fluidity of Bodies 1760. Translation and Commentary by Vladimir Shiltsev. Archive, 1801.00909, German translations Lomonoso, Mikhail Mikhail Wasilevich Lomonoso. Ausgewalt Schriften in Zwei Banden. Berlin Akademie Verlag. Lomonosov, Mikhail Erste Grundlagen der Metallurgie oder des Huttenwesens Herausgegeben und kommentiert von Friedrich Naumann. Walter de Gruyter. ISBN 978-3110424072. Lomonosov, Mikhail Schriften zur Geologie und zum Berg und Huttenwesen Herausgegeben und kommentiert von Friedrich Naumann. Walter de Gruyter. ISBN 978-3-11-042406-5. See also